Hello and welcome to the program, A Light for the Nation. This is a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to say welcome to the program. Today we are looking at this very important topic, the apostolates of the year, talking about listening. The theme for the World Communications Day for this year is listening with the ear of our hearts. And Reverend Father Kelvin Anito is telling us more about this recent apostolate of listening. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for the gift of another day. We ask that you inspire our hearts, that they may be open to receive your word, that we may learn to listen to you and listen to others, that we may be better disciples, better apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I want us to reflect on the theme, the apostolate of the ear, listening. The apostolate of the ear. And for our scriptural guide, let us look at the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, from verse 55 to verse 60. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at God's right hand. Look, I can see heaven thrown open, he said, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. All the members of the council shouted out and stopped their ears with their hands. Then they made a concerted rush at him, thrust him out of the city and stoned him. The witnesses put down their clothes at the feet of a young man called Saul. As they were stoning him, Stephen said in invocation, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and said aloud, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And with these words, he fell asleep. The apostolate of the ear. Strange, right? How can we have an apostolate that has to do with listening, that has to do with hearing? But my dear friends in Christ, we remember vividly that scripture says, faith comment by hearing and indeed hearing the word of God. So yes, how does Stephen become our example today? Because Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, sat constantly at the feet of Jesus as he listened to instructions from Jesus, from the Holy Spirit. This is how we understand how Stephen was able to see visions, how Stephen was able to influence the early church community as he did, and why some persons accused him of blasphemy. My dear friends in Christ, why we must strive to listen to God through the power of the Holy Spirit, we must also try to listen to those around us, irrespective of what our roles are, irrespective of what our duties are, irrespective of the functions that we carry out on a daily basis. Stephen was able to listen. He had an apostolate of listening because he listened by the power of the Spirit he knew exactly where he was going. And he was not afraid to say what he saw. But one thing, my dear friends, is that there were those members of the council who heard what Stephen said, messages of eternal life, messages powered by the Holy Spirit, and yet decided to block their ears. In very many ways today, we block our ears. 
In very many ways today, we refuse to listen. We refuse to exercise our apostolate of the ear. We refuse to pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church, to what the Holy Spirit is saying to our Christian communities, to what the Holy Spirit is saying to the nation, to what the Holy Spirit is saying to the world. If we can strive for a moment to model our lives after Stephen, even though in the eyes of the world, that may lead us to persecution and death, then we begin to exercise our apostolate of the ear. We begin to exercise our listening faculties powered by the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, why was Stephen able to forgive those who killed him? Because he had exposed himself to the Holy Spirit. Because he took Jesus Christ himself as his example. As a result, he practiced exactly what Jesus did. Do not forget that Jesus forgave all of those who killed him, me and you, on the cross. In the same manner, Stephen was able to forgive those who killed him. Starting from the young man, Saul, who later became Paul, one of the greatest apostles of all time. We pray for the grace to be able to open our ears, that we may indeed hear the Spirit, that we may indeed listen to brothers and sisters around us, and be able to become better disciples. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day today. Reverend Father Kelvin Aneto is of the Catholic Diocese of Uruhi, Edo State, guiding us in today's reflection. I believe you have learned how to listen and to listen to God, listening to one another also to be able to understand what we are discussing. Especially when you are in composition, there's also this need to listen. And when you're talking to God, there's also the avenue for you to listen to Him. Not always asking, but also take out time to listen to what God is telling you. Because even in your silent moment, God is saying something. If you have questions and you want to share, please do not forget to send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen. You can also take advantage of our social media handles, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Let's follow this conversation and let's help one another to live a life of listening. This will promote peace and understanding. Bye for now and have a lovely day.